Hi guys, Harry here from the Art Gear Guys. Thanks very much for joining me today. Um, first of all, before I get started, just let me apologise for any background noise that you might hear. It's really hot here in the UK today, so the windows and all that are open. Um, so you might hear some cars or people out in their gardens talking and what have you. So I apologise for that in advance, but um, unfortunately, I'm Irish. I can't uh, handle the heat, so I need some ventilation coming in here. Um, but anyway, let's get on with this. So as you can see, um, this is a review of a pencil storage system. Now this particular storage system is by a company called Robax Engineering. I'll have uh, a link uh, down in the description box for you. Uh, one other thing that I would like to just say before I go on. This video will be a little bit rockier than most videos that I do because I can't have this camera on a tripod because I need to move around. Um, Obviously this is a slightly bigger object than what I'm normally reviewing, so um, you'll have to bear with me, I'll do my best. Uh, so the first thing, let's, uh, as I say, this is a pencil storage system done by Robax Engineering. Um, I know there are a lot of pencil systems out there, or storage systems out there, like the, the drawer systems and stuff. But I think this one here is personally um, my favourite one, and I'll go through the different reasons why I think it is one of the better ones uh, available. And I'll also go through some of the pricing and what have you in dimensions. So the first thing that I want to show you is um, what it's made of. As you can see here, um, there's a, a series of trays. Here. There's seven trays on there at the minute. Um, but I have the eighth one here. Um, as you can hear, it's kind of, it's made of a really rigid plastic. Um, very light, but very sturdy. And each tray holds 30 pencils okay now as you can see here you've got these kind of like these little tars on either side of it and that is for stacking purposes and as you can see there the the tars are obviously bigger than the back of where the pencil rests up against which means that um although it's a stacking system the trays themselves are not resting on top of the pencils so the pencils are easy to get to, they're easy to remove from the trays and the pencils aren't going to be destroyed in any way or anything like that. They stack in completely independently of the pencils. Um, I've seen these used as well uh, in different ways. People put up photographs of them on Pinterest. They're so versatile. You can use them in the stacking system that you see here that is how it's intended to be used. Or I've seen um, people on Pinterest have bought these trays individually and they have kind of like attached them to the wall like this using where the pencil rests up against as a, a resting place. Uh, and then what they've done is they've put like a, a, a plastic perspex halfway up to keep the pencil in from falling down so that they can still grab it and pull it out. And it looks amazing actually when it's uh, around the wall where the artist is sitting very easy for them to grab hold of the pencils and what have you and obviously if you're a color pencil enthusiast the side of color pencils are is going to um, be attractive to you uh, and so with them all on your wall in the color systems it looks beautiful um, if i can find it i'll put the link for the images uh, that i found this off on pinterest but i'm only talking about how this system is supposed to be used so, like I just said, there are 30, 30 pencils on each tray and the stacking system as, a, as an entire unit comes with 8 trays. And so that's a, a total of 240 pencils that you have uh, if you fill each tray. Now, I'm just going to go around here and I'll show you how this is kind of like constructed and used and stacked and what have you. So as you can see there... Like I showed you, these little tars with these little dimples on top of here, they, they're what keeps it in place and it's not moving. It's not slipping or sliding or anything like that. It's very, um, very sturdy. Um, it rests on a plinth, okay, or a stand as uh, Robax call it. As you can see here, this one is the plastic one. Now there is a wooden one as well, which does allow you, I think, to stack them a little bit higher than, than eight. Obviously, you can see here that the um, the little stand that it rests on, it, it takes five trays and then anything after that is kind of like independently of these um, of these rests. Um, with eight trays on it, it's incredibly steady. I would imagine it, it could take another 
two or three, maybe up to 10 or 11, and it's still going to be absolutely fine. I think anything after 11 or 12, you, you might be getting into toppling territory. But with the wooden one, um, it's a little bit bigger, and I think it, it allows you to stack it a little bit higher. But regardless of that, with eight of these um, trays, you've got a stacking system of 240 pencils there. And the good thing about this is, is as you can see, on your desk, you know, I've just got that there on the corner of my desk. In terms of real estate, in terms of desk space, it takes up very, very little space. Um, the dimensions of this are... Um, Let me get them, sorry, 13 inches this way and 12 inches this way. Okay, so that's the base uh, diameter of, or sorry, not diameter, dimensions of it. And they say that the plastic one is um, 5 inches tall. So uh, I'm guessing that's the, the, the stand they're referring to there. Now, um, I'm going to give you the pricing for this system and the individual parts that it comes in and that type of thing. But I'm not going to give... It, it, Robax is an American company, so the uh, I'm going to give you it in dollars. I'm not going to break it down into pounds or um, any euros or anything like that because if you're watching this video six months from now, the conversion rate might be completely different uh, and so that it would be irrelevant. So I'll give you it in dollars and then you can work it out yourself when you are watching this video. So for each individual tray, it's eight dollars, which I think is fantastic. Um, like I've just said to you, if you wanted to use it independently of the stacking system, you could do and you could if you've got other ideas for it, you know, you could use them whatever way you want. So eight dollars for the trays individually. For four trays, it's twenty eight dollars, so a little bit of a bargain there. Uh, the plastic stand that I've just shown you, this little plinth thing at the bottom, that is $18. Or, to get the stand and eight trays, so the entire system that I, I have here, everything that you see, uh, that would work out at $70. Now, sorry, just let me move back around here because the light is making it focus and unfocus. If you wanted the wooden one, it's a little bit more expensive. Uh, I'll I'll see if I can get some images and, and I'll put them up of the wooden one, but you'll you'll so you can get the gist of it. The wooden stand is forty eight dollars, and if you purchase the wooden stand with eight trays, it's ninety six dollars. So a little bit more expensive, but um, I think with the wooden one you can stack it a little bit higher than just eight. I'm not hundred percent sure what the difference is, but I can tell you what the difference will be in terms of if you live outside the United States, and that is the shipping. If you get the plastic one, the shipping is going to be a, a, a lot less um, expensive because the wooden one obviously has a, a fair amount of weight to it. Uh, in terms of weight, actually, um, the overall weight, without the pencils and what have you, of the, the system here, I think it's uh, 1.6 ounces for the plastic and 4 pounds for the wooden one. So that gives you an idea of, the, um, of what the shipping costs would be. But as you can see here, you know, not only is it an incredibly practical system for your pencils to sit on, but it looks beautiful. If you put your pencils all in uh, color coordination or whatever, you know, it's going to look really, really nice. Um, I've got mine set up here at the minute with uh, my Lyra pencils on the bottom, my Derwent Graphitint, then my Derwent Artist pencils. Next is the Derwent Drawn pencils. Then I've got my Karen Dye Super Soft, uh, Super Color Soft pencils here. And then on top I've got my um, Faber-Castell Polychromos pencils. Now I've seen a lot of people use this system. So uh, this is the, the empty tray. This is the last tray. Normally I'd have this uh, filled with pencils on top. But as you can see there, that's how it stacks. So these kind of like these little towers. They just rest on top of each other. Just like that. And then that's it. Then you're good to go. And um, I've seen a lot of people use like this top um, tray as basically just like a shelf, either for little small pencils um, or erasers or 
sharpeners or paint brushes whatever whatever it is you're going to need uh to use along with your color pencils so you know you can use this system any which way you want anyway guys i think that's it for this particular system the reasons why i think that this system is a little is a little bit better than the wooden ones i know the wooden drawer ones look really pretty and nice and what have you and makes your desk look very tidy and that type of thing I think with this your pencils are out they're there they're ready to be used at any time you can just grab one and pull it out and use it I think with the drawer system you know you're in and out of drawers and you're putting your hand in shuffling around trying to find the right color pencil that you're you're after whereas with this one here it's displayed they're all there you can grab them anytime and they're out all the time I mean it, before I had this system and uh it was uh i had all my pencils in jars and stuff like that and it just it looked unsightly um and it probably wasn't the best for your pencils you know dropping them into the jar that type of thing um so that's just my opinion on this system i think it's one of the better ones out there i think it's the best one actually that i've seen so far uh, out there on the market and i think the price of it as well like i say 70 dollars for this entire system is fantastic i can taking into consideration the amount of pencils that you're going to be stacking here on this system anyway guys thank you very much for joining me on this video don't forget you can follow me over on facebook and twitter and instagram the links for that will be down below you can also go across to the art gear guide and i'll also have a written review of this system over there with some high definition images where you can maybe see better angles of the, the system uh, that i've taken with the uh, camera um, also, if you've liked this video, if you know other people that are, you know, looking for a pencil storage system, because I know the color pencil artists are always looking for a really good uh, storage system to put their pencils in, please share the video. It might be beneficial to somebody else if, uh, if you've liked it and enjoyed it. Give it a like, a thumbs up as well. Thanks very much, guys, um, for all your support. You guys are fantastic. You are always supporting me, very supportive of all the videos that I do, and I can't tell you how much I appreciate that. I will be having um, a giveaway coming up soon, um, but I've just got to get enough money together to get it because I, I want it to be a good one. So thanks very much guys, look forward to seeing you again next time. Bye.